हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड योर वॉचिंग कोमल टाया सो गाइज इन द लास्ट वीडियोज आई टॉक्ड अबाउट द एच वन वन एस वन वन लाइक दैट दीज टर्म ओवरलैप इंटीग्रल सम इंटीग्रल्स ऑफ दिस लीनियर वेरिएशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल एंड वॉट इज लाइक हाउ टू इनकॉर्परेट दैम इन टू क्वेश्चन सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग वन प्रीवियस एयर क्वेश्चन बेसिकली डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट एंड दैट इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन यू जस्ट नीड टू वन थिंग एंड यू विल बी गुड टू गो एंड विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स सी वॉट दैट क्वेश्चन लुक्स लाइक एंड एंड लेट्स सी हाउ ईजी और डिफिकल्ट दैट क्वेश्चन इज सो यू कैन सी ओवर द स्क्रीन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन like the only question which is the which is which can be seen over here is this question so according to it this is december 2012 question and it is written over here that trial wave function of a system is expanded like this so some trial wave function is uh, given and the matrix element of hamiltonian is given so matrix element of hamiltonian is given like this so these are given in the question so these are given information just just uh, ignore this equation for now I'll ignore this statement for now i'll be discussing that right now so but uh, before proceeding i'll be telling you the question which was given so this is given that this is 51 h51 is equal to 0 so you will be confused that this is what is this thing this is same only guys this is bra and this is cat so this is basically this only 51 h51 d tau is equal to 0 clear so which which means this h11 and same with this this is again phi 1 h phi to this different uh, denotation like you're uh, denoting it in different way that's it so this is again phi 2 h uh, this phi 1 d tau which is h 1 1 and h 2 1 this will be h 1 1 uh, h 1 2 sorry and this would be h 2 1 they both have same value that is 2 and here this is phi 2 h phi 2 this is 3 so this is h 2 2 that is 3 clear and it is given that the approximate ground state of system energy from the linear variation of principle and the secular determinant corresponding to about trial wave function so this is solution guys don't go overhead so this is approximate ground state of the system energy from the variation of principle will be so you need to find the ground state energy from this linear variation of principle clear so everything is given h11 h12 h21 h22 so now you will be wondering that okay now this is given but what about s11 s12 these things are not given so what you will do so guys if that is not given in the question so what you have to do if it is not given in the question always take s11 s22 equal to 1 always take them one and if there is s12 is equal to 0 s21 equal to 0 so now you will be wondering that why we have to take this equal to 1 or 2 1 or 0 because guys these functions are orthonormal set yeah orthonormal set only orthonormal means they are orthogonal also and they are normalized also orthogonal means this phi 1 phi 2 d tau will be equal to 0 and normalized means this if i have to say normalize that means phi 1 phi 1 d tau is equal to 1 so phi 1 phi 1 d tau is s1 11 only and this phi 1 phi 2 d tau means s12 or s21 so that what i have told that s21 would be 0 or s12 would be 0 and if same things come s11 or s22 that would be equal to 1 because these functions are assumed to be orthonormal and s s11 if i expand s11 that is 5151 d tau and here it is 515152 d tau this is s21 so when you will expand them so it would be like that only clear so uh, always remember orthonormal means orthogonal plus normalize orthogonal means when two different functions they are in integration with each other so that value com would come out to be zero normalize means that means two uh, functions same functions when they'll be in integration with each other so the uh, value will come out to be one always remember this clear so this is the thing and we need to find okay now we know that s11 or s22 these all will be zero and s sorry these all will be one and s12 and s21 these all will be zero 
clear so now we know every value and we just have to put everything into a tailor made uh, equation which i told you in the last lecture so people who are new you can go back and see that lecture so things will be more clear to you because now you will not be getting that what what is h11 s12 like this and here guys options are also there don't get confused at what is over here these are options clear so let's go down to the solution only directly so guys this is the solution you must be knowing that this is the solution yeah you know you, you do not know how you you will be knowing like okay so well ignore this forget this so we'll be starting it so now i told you that there are two functions like can you see there will be two uh, two constituents like there will be two constituent that means there will be two into two matrix that means two rows two rows and two columns fine so i'll be designing this matrix in this form like this only i'll be writing over this h minus e s and then h minus e s again h minus e s and then h minus e s people who are new you can pay attention so this is first row and this is first column so i'll be writing 1 1 again this is first row first column i'll be writing but this is first row and second column columns are vertical thing fine rows are horizontal uh, horizontal thing fine so this is one uh, first row and second column first row and second column so here it is uh, second row and first column it is second row first column again second row first column here in this one it is second row and second column so it would be 2 2 and it would be 2 2 clear so this thing is very easy you just need to remember hess like hess heisenberg like that just remove e uh, i like just now it hit my mind it's like this only just remove i and instead of i like just remove i and it is h e s so there you are h e s so you won't forget it now clear so this was just some random crazy thing that came into my mind just now clear so that's how you'll write it down that's how you'll plot it down and now i'll be putting the values so everything is given guys h11 value is given that is 0 minus e s11 means i told you that would be 1 h12 value is given guys that is 2 s12 i told you that would be 0 h21 value is given that is 2 minus e s21 e into s21 i told you that is 0 h22 value is given that is 3 Minus e into s two two value is given that is one, so that is determinant for you and it would be equal to zero. So when I'll be solving it, it would be minus e. It would be two minus zero that would be two. It would be two minus zero that would be two. Here it would be three minus e. So here it would be three minus e. So it would be equal to zero. So now I'm assuming that eighty percent of you must be knowing that how to solve this determinant thing. But for people, especially the bio people who belong to bio background, so I'm telling you how to solve solve this determinant because these things we learnt in eleventh or twelfth standard. So most probably in twelfth standard. So you must not be knowing. I'm assuming that. So you just go back. You can just see any other YouTube video that how to solve the determinant. It's very easy. But right also right now also I'll be telling you. So don't get confused. So guys, whenever some determinant things are there, you'll multiply this thing with this thing, like this with this, and minus. You'll be writing minus this with this term. Multiplication of this with this, then minus. Suppose this is this. I'm writing over here a, b, c, and d. So if I have to find the determinant value of this, so what I'll write that a d. so i will write a into d minus this into this c into b c into b clear so uh, that is the value no determinant so that's how you'll solve the determinant same with e uh, same with this thing that is minus e into 3 minus e and minus this mu this multiplication with this thing like you'll multiply 2 with 2 so that would be 4 Clear equal to zero. So when you will be solving it, it would be minus three e. When you will be multiplying it, and then when you will be multiplying it with minus minus plus e square minus four equal to zero. Fine. So equation is becoming like this: e square minus three e minus four equal to zero. 
so now you can solve this quadratic equation so i'm assuming you know this thing because it's uh, like it's very uh, 8 9 10 standard basis thing so you all must be knowing it how to solve this thing fine so for people you can solve it like this also e square minus 4e plus e minus 4 like when you will be you can write this thing like this also right sum and products for people uh, some people must be remembering it like this also or you can solve it like this also like energy will be equal to like this minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a like b is this term b is this term c is this term whole this term fine and uh, a will be over here fine so this is like this so you can solve it i'm assuming that you can solve it so when we will solve it so i i hope we have solved it no i guess i have not it's it's very dull over here i guess solved it i have solved it yes 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 i have solved it and when i'll solve it the answer will be coming so if you have problem in this guys you can tell me i'll i can i can explain it in different video so if you have any query regarding it you you can tell me that how to solve this part clear so when i'll be solving this i'll be getting e is equal to 4 and e is equal to minus 1 clear so now uh, in question what is asked in question it is asked that uh, what is the ground state of the system energy like ground state we need to find like energy of ground state so can you see plus 4 no no plus 4 is there but minus 1 is there so a part is correct and this is your answer so that's how you'll go with these type of questions and that's how you'll play that's don't get confused between values between like multiplying determinant never uh, like don't forget to put minus when you'll be multiplying the second thing it's a biggest mistake i have seen lot of people doing it and this small mistake can cost you a lot clear and uh, one more thing this thing yeah this uh, how to find the basic the final value if you don't have any knowledge about it just see any youtube video that how to solve quadratic equations very easy and uh, there are usually two methods so i have done with both methods i guess no no only one method i have uh, done with but the second method i'll be telling in the next video and i hope these things are clear to you you can uh, see my other lectures also and if you have any problem for today's lecture you can drop it in in the comment section or in the telegram group the your queries are most welcome clear so for now it's done and i'll see all of you in the next one with the new previous question that came in 2017 until then take care bye and keep smiling bye